What up, people? It's Animates here, here to bring you a review portion for SAO Season 3, Episode 3. Now, we start to get a little... We finally get a chance to see, once again, the, blues, the, the blue rose sword. That apparently... Um, I mean, Kirito was the one that found it, but Yujiro has been having it for safekeeping. I'm, I'm guessing until he feels like he's ready to finally use it and whatnot. But... Yo, that sword with one swing, with one swing, it was, I mean, obviously Kirito didn't aim it right. But with that sword, they're probably going to get cut the tree down a whole lot quicker. And that's what they need to do. They, they need to get uh, y Yujiro's calling done. That way they can move, advance and go up to and do better and better, do bigger and better things. Because right now, they're kind of stuck, like specifically Kirito. He can't move on because he doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know the play out of this area. And he can't ask Yujiro to help him because... Yujiro is stuck with his calling. He can't go anywhere until he finishes this. And it's probably going to take his whole lifetime. So unless Kirito finds a way, aka with the Blue Rose Sword, to get them out of there, he's going to be there for a long time. I'm going to tell you that right now. He's going to be an old man. No, he's going to pass away in that town. But obviously, Kirito can't do that because he needs answers. He needs to find out why he's here, how, he, uh, and w he needs to find out why he's here and what happened and what's going on with him in the real world. So far, yet yet again, we have another episode to where they're not confirming what's going on with Kirito in the real world. And that's what I want to find out more than anything. What is his condition? Is he dead? Is he dying? Is he in a coma? Is he in the hospital or is he... Well, no, he's not in the hospital. He's in that one room where he does the whole soul dive virtual world thing. But is this... Is this virtual world what ke is what's keeping him from completely passing away? Is this world is basically his um, life support until they can figure out a way to save him? Because right now, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with Kirito right now in the real world. Like, I, obviously, we know what's going on with him here in this Soul Dive world. But other than that, we got no real answers right now. We, we have no clue whether or not he's in a coma like steak he obviously he's can we know we know that right now he's connected to that machine but what 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 eludes me every single time in each e episode is his condition because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty I'm pretty willing to bet that he is in a coma like state it has to be why else does he still have his memories why else, like the moment he got stabbed by that one last member of Laughing Coffin, they jump immediately into this game. Because Kirito is basically on life support, but I need the anime to confirm that to me. Otherwise, my, confirm my theory will only remain as a theory. So I need that, conf I need that confirmation right away. Um... We're starting to get to learn more and more and more about certain characters, specifically Yujiro and uh, Seika. I'm just saying, Seika is a... Excuse my French, but Seika is an idiot. Why in God's name would you go to the damn mountain where your sister was literally taken and turned into the Intrigori Knights or whatever you call those people? And now we don't know what's going on with your sister. I don't know. I'm assuming she's alive based on the opening and the scenes we've seen with her so far. So I'm a, so I'm assuming Alice is alive, but we're not sure if she's in a healthy environment, if you know what I mean. And right now Seika is going is trying to reenact her sister's own demise for who knows whatever reason. I mean. It could possibly be that Seika does have a crush on uh, Yujiro and maybe she's thinking like hey maybe if I can save my sister and try to right the, wrong, right the wrongs that my sister did maybe Yujiro will look at me differently and we can be a thing again you know what I mean maybe that's why she's doing this. Because as of right now, I have no idea what Seika's motives are. I don't know what this girl's trying to do. All I know is she's going to the end, ends of the mountain for who knows what. 
I have no idea why she wanted to go there. And here's the thing that I want to know. The moment she found Kirito told her everything, the story, um, she left. She left her calling. She left her post. But why? I'm, j I'm thinking either one thing. Either Seika is an idiot and she's just doing this because she's trying to get Yujiro to notice her. Or there's more to her than meets the eye. There's a secret agenda in here. You know what I mean? She's Maybe her secret calling is something different. Maybe this whole nun fiasco is is just that a fiasco she's trying to fool the villages in what her true objective is and it's to find out what happened to alice and where it happened what took place i mean i feel like but for honestly it could be that i'm just reaching that i'm reaching a bit too much out there and it could be nothing of the sort but like i said it's just a theory i could be wrong i could be right who freaking knows right but all i know is Seika, right? Like, she's kind of a mystery to me. All I know is she possibly likes Yujiro. She's curious on the events that took place when her sister, her older sister was taken away. And now that she's uncovered those secrets, or at least part of it, she is taking matters into her own hands. But the thing, but the real question is, what's her, what's her objective in coming here? What does she hope to accomplish and why? These are answers I hope, I freaking hope they at least answer in the fourth episode. But don't get me wrong, guys. It's not that I dislike this episode. I actually did like it. It was a fun... Um, it's still. I feel like it's still in the setting up phase for the grander schemes to unfold in this season. But who knows? Once again, who knows? I'm not exactly sure where we're going from here because I'm still... There's still like some... Um, how can I say this? There are still certain things that need to be said that haven't been said yet. But I'm sure as the series continues, our answers will be, our questions will be answered. Because right now, all they're doing is piling on questions above questions about questions. Not that it's a bad thing, because it's, it's going to be a lot more satisfying, right? When we finally get our answers. But until then, we're just going to have to be patient, see what's going to happen in the next episode, which is episode 4. And hopefully we have some degree of closure, or at least find out what the hell Seika's trying to do. Because she's being stupid. That's all I know. My opinion, though. My opinion. So, another thing that I, because I mentioned this, I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. For those new, and for those that have been here for a while, but probably haven't seen it in me, you should probably know. Some of you already know this, but I do not hold back my words. If I find something's bad, I will call on it. If I find something that I don't like, I will call on it. If I find something I do like, I will call on it. I always have unbiased, unpredigested, unpredigested, oh my god, you know what I mean, guys. There's certain, point is, I never, I'm never ever biased. So, because... I believe because I me when it comes to certain things certain situations whether it be anime uh, situations or whatever per, well it's predominantly more for anime or anything with a story or a narrative because I'm a huge story critic well not a huge one but roughly around the middle I I usually like playing the devil the devil's advocate like I I hear I hear I I look at things the way they are and I base things the way I see and how I interpret them so if I call something out please do not hound me do not attack me do not get on my case do not give me problems because if you give me problems then they'll be problems I don't mean to sound uh, hostile or anything guys but I feel like people should know this about me because then um, it doesn't come off as a surprise later. If you disagree with me, you're free. You're free to say so, and you're free to comment it. But do not give me like paragraphs and paragraphs worth of comments. Um, I'm looking at you, Juvia. Don't worry, Juvia. Not in a negative way, so you can relax. I'm just saying you have a tendency of writing. Holy shit! But but it's okay. It's okay. It's you. I get it. But what I mean is. Don't give me crazy long negative comments. 
Like, Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm reading a rant. But either way, either way, point is, you're free to mention things, you're free to disagree with me, that's fine. We, we're never always going to share, we're never going to meet, we're never always going to meet eye to eye on opinions. But uh, make sure you're respectful when you disagree with me. Um, make sure, you guys, uh, to comment based on the reaction and based on what I said here. Hmm. Questions, questions. Am I the only one that's getting tired of Yujiro acting like a huge wimp? Low-key, it's starting to bug me. Like, it's really starting to bug me. And I'm cheering for this man. I want him to get the let out, but he refuses to get the let out. He just allows fear to shroud him and take over him when I really want him to... I really want him to get in gear. Like, I really want him to get his... To get himself in the game. <laughs> get it? Like, in the game? Because this is a uh, virtual... You get the idea. But yeah, that's one thing. Let me know if you agree or disagree on that in the comment section below. And let me know why. Once again, chill with the paragraphs. Other question that I want to say. What other question? Hmm... Since all of us are more or less around the same pace when it comes to this season, what do you guys think it's the reason why um, uh, Seiko did the what she did? Do you do you agree based on my statements? Do you think she went up in the mountains to uncover the truth of what happened to Alice, or is it something to do with Yujiro because she likes him? Let me know what your what do you think is the reason why she did what she did. Make sure you guys comment uh, the answers in the comment section below. Remember, guys, these are not mandatory. These are just optional. And, uh, yep, that's it, though, guys. That's it for the review. Remember to like, comment, sub. If you haven't already, it really motivates me to put more um, reaction content out there for you guys. My, my guild mates. Guild, remember, guys, I'm going to keep pushing this. But from now on, my subscribers will no longer be called subscribers. We, you are all known as my guildmates. That's how it's going to be. So, all right, guys. That's it. Peace. I'm out. And I'll see you in the next reaction, which is Fairy Tale in a bit.